So number six, what is the most common cause of aortic aneurysm? So let's break down the question. What is an aorta and an aneurysm? That would be good to know to answer this. Your aorta is the largest artery in your body, and an aneurysm is a weak or expanded part of your artery. Your aortic aneurysm is most likely to happen in your abdomen. So what about your multiple choice? Your thrombus is a formation of a blood clot and it stays put. Once that thrombus breaks loose and starts to move, it becomes an embolus, so it's a moving blood clot. Atherosclerosis is fat or cholesterol buildup, plaque in or on your artery wall. Hypotension is abnormally low blood pressure, hypo meaning below or low. And the answer to this is C, atherosclerosis. Now why is that true? In your aorta, the most common cause of your aortic aneurysm is plaque buildup, causing the walls of your vessel to be ischemic, lacking oxygen, and starts to decay and die. It starts to weaken. So then you get a bulge, and that causes the, the formation of your aneurysm. So the answer is C. So think of this as your arteries. This is what you want to see, a wide open passage for your blood to pass through. This is your cholesterol buildup. This is your C, this is your atherosclerosis. When this happens, it messes with the flow of the blood. It obstructs it here, and it messes with the blood pressure behind it. Cholesterol buildup blocks this section from getting the oxygen that it needs, and it would be like a hardening of the artery. So it's not getting the oxygen that it needs. This part of the vessel starts to weaken because it's not getting the oxygen that it needs. So once this part becomes ischemic, it starts to bulge, which can mess with the flow of your blood. And it can be a lot like when you blow up a balloon. The first push when you blow in a balloon is harder, but every blow that you have, more air is able to come in, and more air and more air because you're thinning these walls down of your balloon. So as this circulation is pushed and swirled, this can bulge down and down and down until it can look like this. And these aneurysms can go undiagnosed. What can happen is you can have blood clots to form in here, or you can have this rupture. And this rupturing is a hole. And what happens when you're constantly pushing blood out of this artery is you're losing blood. So very quickly in your aorta, if it ruptured, you can very quickly bleed out.